Well, 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 it looks like we have some competition for the S23 Ultra and for the OnePlus devices in the Android world, the Xiaomi 13 Pro. But this is here in Mumbai. We've had this phone for a while now, and we thought, why just do a typical review? These sort of weather conditions maybe aren't ideal. We wanted it to be a little cooler, so we took it to frigid Europe. In fact, we took it to Wetzlar, Germany, where this phone is actually being co-engineered. The lens on this phone is being co-engineered with Leica and Xiaomi. And this is a partnership which we wanted to learn a lot more about. So we want to bring you that exclusively on Tech Today. And along with that, we also want to tell you that yes, the phone has Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. It has some brilliant battery life. There are a few quirks with the software. We wish it would have been a cleaner version of Android, but Xiaomi has a strong community which seem to like their interpretation of Android with their devices. But even then, we'll give you our first impressions of this device and what this camera is really capable of. Is it a gimmick or a game changer? This Leica powered camera lens, I'm telling you, there's a lot to be spoken about this particular camera module and this partnership all the way from Wetzlar, Germany in slightly better weather. Welcome to Wetzlar. Yes, this is the holy grail for camera enthusiasts, given that this is Zeiss town and most importantly, Leica town. That's where we are, the Leica Museum headquarters and their facilities all over this town. And now it's become imperative because one, Leica has come up with a smartphone in Japan in partnership with Sharp, but that's not what we want to talk about. We want to talk about a phone they've actually co-engineered when you're talking about the camera system, the Xiaomi 13 Pro. And look, there's branding on it saying co-engineered by Leica. And you've seen this with OnePlus and Hasselblad, Oppo and Hasselblad, uh, Vivo and Zeiss, and you see a lot of these things, but how often are these gimmicks and when does it actually happen that these turn out to be game changers? With the OnePlus Hasselblad partnership, the expectations were high, especially during the pandemic. And then when we saw the final output, it was absolutely disappointing. A little bit of inputs when it comes to color science. And yes, the OnePlus cameras aren't the best in the market out there. Here, they're actually saying from a branding standpoint that it's co-engineered the Xiaomi 13 Pro with Leica. What does that mean? Because I've been using this phone for a while now and taking photos all over uh, Wetzlar town and then of course from the Tech Today studio. And honestly, I don't think this is a gimmick. If this is the future of smartphone cameras, and they also have a concept phone, which is really cool with an attachable lens, but that's a little too bulky. If that sort of massive tech is now coming into this camera module, it might just be a game changer. The Xiaomi 13 Pro comes with a Leica professional optical lens, a one inch ultra large sensor. That means a lot more light comes in and hence gives you much better shots. We've also seen a giant aperture here at the Leica Museum. A lot of those learnings and inputs do find their way into these sort of partnerships. And of course it comes with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. But let me talk a little bit more about this camera. Looks really cool, looks different from the other phones, but this massive one inch sensor comes with a 50 megapixel wide angle camera. It, this one inch sensor size is absolutely mind blowing. Now, while it can obviously give you one click AI cinema, ultra night video, create Dolby Vision content up to 4K 60 FPS, 8K video recording, portrait night mode, it comes with Xiaomi Pro Focus as well, but most importantly, it comes with this Leica professional optical lens, a one inch ultra large sensor, and the first time ever, a 75 mm floating telephoto lens, which is what I really think is coming from this partnership with Leica. When they're talking about being co-engineered, it's not just a filter, it's not just a lens. There is a marked improvement in this camera and it produces images like I haven't seen on a smartphone before. We're gonna test this extensively on Tech Today, but I just thought you might just go back to the studio and get all sorts of shots back in Mumbai and Delhi. Well, this, according to me, is the future of smartphone photography. Earlier, we were in Wetzlar at Leica HQ, and we had a very special guest, and we managed to catch him at the Mobile World Congress. Marius, nice to meet you. Ayush, good to see you. <laughs> good to have you on Tech Today. I'm glad that we are still 
in an environment like this where we can chat about your partnership whilst we walk with Xiaomi, right? Just straight up, fascinating device. I've taken photos on it and I think camera enthusiasts will be pleased with the results. But the first question that everyone seems to have on their minds is a lot of smartphone companies have tied up with traditional camera companies. But we haven't seen much of a, you know, a manifestation of that in the final output. Yeah. No real improvement, just some color science. Largely, they've been gimmicks. Now, I've seen that device for myself, but if you had to refute that point, why isn't the Leica-Xiaomi partnership a gimmick and why is it actually a game changer? So, thank you first of all. Um, for us, it's super important that it's a comprehensive technology partnership. So, it's including the whole image pipeline from lens, sensor up yeah. to the final image processing. So that's why um, we didn't only concentrate only on color science or yes. only on image quality tuning, mm -hmm. but we were really involved from the very beginning when we are developing the lens, right. when we are modifi modify the sensor, when we are going into the image quality tuning process. Right. And uh, from A to Z, we have been involved. Right, and, and you got to tell us a little bit more about how this partnership came about. I'm guessing it took a while. I remember you mentioned in Germany that it took a few years. Xiaomi approached you guys. Uh, one other question we seem to have a lot from the tech community is, is this going to be an exclusive partnership? Do we expect Xiaomi and Leica to go on with this in the years to come? Yeah. I mean, it's supposed to be a long-term partnership. So this is nothing what you can do just as a one-hit wonder. Um, you have to get to know each other, how to collaborate. I mean, we have dedicated R&D team, uh, which is working on these devices together with Xiaomi. And um, yeah, that's why it's supposed to be a long-term uh, uh, exercise. As always, it's been an action-packed episode of Tech Today, or shall I say, an electric one with the Hyundai Ioniq 5. What did you think of this particular EV? Is it a practical option for city driving? Do you think it's much better than its sibling, the EV6? Let us know on our social media handles. Give us a shout out and we'd love to know what the Tech Today community thinks of this EV and the rest of the show. If you've liked it, let us know. If you've not liked it also, do let us know for sure. Until next week, this is your host, Sayush Alavadi saying adios. If you like the video, do like, comment, share, and subscribe.